Hey, can you guess what we are going to make today? We're going to turn this two hexagon into a cardigan. Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. This one we are going to make the hexagon cardigan. Yay! I named them the uh, candy pop hexagon cardigan. So if you're new here, I'm Jen from JennyAndTeddy.com. I share all things crochet. And if you subscribe already, welcome back. Yay! I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And let's talking about the hexagon. So the hexagon cardigan is so simple and beginner friendly. Um, actually, like you can um, just make this two hexagon by adding more round after round to be bigger. So you can make this cardigan, hexagon cardigan in any size from um from the toddler side to the plus size. Very easy. And um, you can have fun with uh, changing up the color. I will show you what I mean. So the hexagon I make is gonna be this big because this side, um, my size is small. My bus size is 32 inch. So it's gonna be this big. And then you change up the color as you go. Decide whatever you like. I'm gonna show you how I fold up. So after we fold up in half, it's gonna be look like this one. It's gonna be half of your cardigan. I will also have the free writing pattern on my blog. Please check it out. I will put the link in the description below. And also a, a PDF printable friendly version on my shop. I will also link in the description below too. So check it out. And let's get started. So what you need is a crochet hook size, four millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, stitch marker, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, and the yarn that I use is a use form a rainbow cotton is eight slash six. I think the yarn weight is about um two, maybe maybe fingering or five something like that. Um, in this example size, it's, uh, in the video example size, as fit size small, my bust size is about thirty two inch. Something and I use about four of each color like yellow four color pink four and another pink is four so I use about um, 12 of them is equal to I have calculated is equal to um, 1250 mate but if you are bigger size like medium maybe you need to add like um maybe six more like I'm size small already. I use 12. So if you're medium, you can add like more, six more, you will be like, um, how much? 18 of them, 18 of this one, uh, something like that. You can use any kind of yarn for this pattern. You can use scrappy yarn project, the leftover yarn, but I use, um, I use hobby, I love hobby. Rainbow cotton, um, they have a nice texture, you know, like um, feel soft and feel good on my skin, so I love it. And let's go to the next step. So um, now we are going to start uh, the foundation, the hexagon. So we start with the 
um, if you are beginner don't worry about it I will go slowly you can you, you can do it very good this is uh, beginner friendly and if you are uh, making a granny square before this one probably very easy for me but I will go so I will go slow because I am naturally slow because of my English and if you are um, not beginner you want uh, faster just go to my blog for the free pattern I put a link in the description below so I just um we start with a magic adjustable look magic link insert your crochet hook underneath and pull up the loop and then we will chain three chain three we count as a one double crochet one two three we count this one as a one double crochet and then we will make two more basically we make three double crochet one double two double so now we got um, three double crochet so I show you one two and three after this we are going to chain three again to create a space um, one chain three one two and three and then we are going to make three double crochet in the ring one two and three we will create this group six of them one two three four five six and then have the chain three in between the chain three you can adapt um, to be chain 1 or chain 2 but I like chain 3 because it's um, easier for me to see when I crochet in the next row so um, we chain 3 again 1, 2, 3 and then uh, make 3 double crochet in the ring 1 double 2 double and 3 double Uh, now we have three already one two three six uh, then we're gonna do three more sorry chain three again one two three and then three double crochet one two and three Now we got a space here. One, two, three. We got um, four already. We make two more. Chain three again. One, two, and three. And then make three double crochet in the ring. One double. Two double and three double. We got one, two, three, four, five, five already. And the last one, gonna make one, two, three, chain three. And then the last one, put make three double crochet in the ring. One, two, and three. Now we chain three again. One, two, and three. And now we will uh, join, join the round. You see the the chain three when we start. We just um, do the slip stitch on top of the chain three that we start. Do the slip stitch. So now we finish um, round one. So I show you. Um, pull the gap tight. So now I show you. Now we got a hexagon already. So here, one, one and two, three, four, five, six, and you can see the chain three. 
and between the group one two three four five and six so we in this one we will make like um three double crochet chain three and three double crochet in this chain three space on the next round so now we finish round one so now i have i finished round one already so we have six side one two three four five six And this one like this one the chain tree that we did is acts like um chain tree space and this one is a uh, three double crochet group that we join and then after this we just do the same we chain three on on round two we chain three one two and three this one acts as uh, one double crochet we're gonna do the group the same like this one like three double crochet group then we're gonna do um make um in any of them make two more double crochet so you have first group already first group of three double crochet And then in the you know in the chain space we're gonna put um, three double crochet chain three and three double crochet three double crochet chain three and three double crochet one two and three So now we got one side already and then um, just uh, skip skip this one and then you go on the um, on the chain space you make three double crochet Two and three, and then chain three because in the chain space we make a uh, three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. One, um, one double, two double, and three double. So now we create two sides already. One, two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and three double crochet one two and three in the same chain space and now i'm gonna show you until we finish the round two so you see chain three space Make one, two, and three, three double crochet, and then chain three, and then three double crochet in the same chain space. Create one, two, three, four, four, five, six, 
beautiful already and then you see this one the chain three space again make the same three double crochet one two and three chain three one two three and then make three double crochet one two and three so now how many sorry one two three four and now we remember um the chain we had chain three space again that we did um, when we nearly the end of the row. Just go on the chain three space, make three double crochet, one, two, three, and then chain three, and then And then um, we are going to uh, join around on the on top of the chain tree, the chain tree that acts as a one double crochet from the previous row. Join around here. Slip stitch to join. Now. Uh, we uh, have a uh, need to check this for like three to four rounds, and then we got about six side one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, all good. And then I will show you on the um, uh, round three. Now, now here round one, round two, we're gonna start on round three. Um, on round two that we um, join, we slip stitch on the chain three that is X at a one double crochet at the start. We're gonna chain three, chain three is will X as one double crochet. And then we will make um, we make uh, two more. So we have to make um, three double crochet group. And then you see like um, this one is a space here, space here. And then this one chain three space. On the space, it's just like do increasing. We just do we do the same we not chain three on on this one we just put only three double crochet group one two three so here you see and on the chain three space we away put three double crochet chain three and three double crochet on a chain three space so this way it will be increased in each row, I mean in each row. One, two, three, and then chain three, one, two, three, and then make three double crochet. One, two, and three. So here we go. So in the, you know, in the east of a chain three space, here and here, and here and here, we are making a three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet. But on the space here, we just make a three double crochet. I will show you until we finish on um, round three. 
So on this one, we're making three double crochet. One, two, and three. It's just like increasing because on this one we increase like we do three double crochet and then three double crochet, but this one we do three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. It's like it's a way make the the hexagon uh, bigger. Do this way. Don't know what to say in English, but um. Yeah, something like that. On the chain three space, making three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three. And then making three double crochet. One, two, three. So you can see here. And then on this one, just make three double crochet. One, two, and three. And you see the chain space makes the same as this one. Keep going. Until we are at the end, at the end here, at the end of the row, I will show you how we do the end of the row. Just do the same, but I will show you again. Okay. So now I am on the last group. Okay, we are, we are at the end of the row. One, two, three, row three. So you can see that when we, you 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 will always know when the the starting point because it will look different. So you know the chain three space from the previous row again. We are this one. We are going to join the round. We make three double crochet. One, two, and three, and then. We have to make chain three, one, two, three, and join slip stitch on the chain three that X on top of the chain three that X as a one double crochet. Slip stitch to join. Hey, and that's it. Loud three finish. So we have, um, I'm counting, how many sides? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're done, so it's going good now. It's just my trick, because I'm new, I'm new to the hexagon, so I will check. So we just repeat the same, after we jump. Hi guys, so now I have, I finished like, Three row already. One, two, three. And um, I'm gonna show you how I fold them to check if it's in the shape of the uh, hexagon. No, if in the shape of the cardigan. <laughs> so here, so you get one side of your cardigan already. So if you um, Increase uh, and more row after row and changing some color, and you will um, end up to get a to get a big big piece of the hexagon like this one. I change up some color. I change up some color, and you know use the yarn that I have, and then gonna check the. To sleep if it's big enough for me. So you fold them in half how you check the sleep and then you just um like put them on like this. Oh hang on. To see if the sleep is big enough for you. 
Um, the, the best way is just um, you just stitch marker. Um, just get a stitch marker. Get a stitch marker here. Um, press to make the slip. You can use the stitch marker like um, uh, four of them. You want to just five. Two more. So um, get a stitch marker. I have two more. Uh, just to see. So here you can see your um, your sleeve. Let's try them on. See if it um okay for you. And um if it uh big enough for the slip already. And now we are going to stop it. Even even uh, you think uh, you want a bigger bigger side in the back. Um you will add the side in the back part back panel here. Just a lighter granny stitch. This one, row after row on the edge. This one. Until you got the, the width of your uh, back panel. And that's it. And the second one, I just fold them. So the second will be this one. And um, so it's gonna be look like this, this two. So you cut again. And the next one we are going to the um, assemble the the cut again together. We are going to um, sewing. Fold them in half. I'm not sure I can get it all in the video frame. Fold them in half. Fold them like this one. Uh, here. Um, I did about 17 row, 17 row of the hexagon and chain up some color on the way. So um, I fold them in half already. We are going to create a shoulder and sleeve. Um, use a stitch marker. Press the stitch marker. And then we are going to use a yarn needle to sew up the sleeve. Yarn needle here and sew from here to here to create a shoulder and sleeve. Now I'm done with the um, sleeve already. We will do the same for the second second piece of the hexagon, and I will meet you there when I finish sewing up here. So here we are. I did on the um, the sleeve, the shoulder, the top one to create the sleeve and shoulder. 
And now we are going to, um, um, I'm going to show you, I will try it on. But before that, I will show you. Um, so on, after we try it on, if it look good, then we're going to sew up to close the back panel. The thing is, um, if you um, want the bigger, like the back panel to be bigger, just add double crochet for two rounds, three rounds, four rounds on each side so you get a bigger. Or you can add another stitch, like you can add like um, a granny stitch here on each side with different colors like that. And if you want the uh, cardigan to be longer, after you finish up sewing, we just um, add more round on here. From here, from here to here, and to here and over there. Back and forward until you get the length that you like for the cardigan. That's how simple it is for the hexagon to add more or bigger, longer cardigan or shorter. So the next one I'm going to um, show you try it on hi guys so now i finished sew up the uh, the sleeve already you see to create a shoulder and sleeve on both of them and this one also so we just um try it on oh whoa yay 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 see sit down now we are going to um, <laughs> cross the back panel. So if you think the back panel is too small for you, just add maybe double crochet, maybe four row on each on each piece in the back, or just add the um, the um, the uh, granny stitch. And that's it. I will go off the camera and sew up the back and I will show you. Hi guys, so here we are. I done with the um, the back panel already. Sew up. And now I'm gonna try it on. Show you. To show you. So here we are, I'm done with the cardigan. So I hope you guys like the tutorial and thank you so much for watching. If you make one, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation and I should show you on the back. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.